Hey, this is Casey Ferris. Welcome to another color correction, color grading tutorial. A couple of weeks ago, I released a tutorial on how to do a warm film look in Resolve. And some of the comments I got are, why aren't you doing this in speed grade? So I thought to myself, hmm, why am I not doing this in speed grade? And I came up with a couple reasons. The first one is that um, I haven't used speed grade a whole lot. I'm kind of a noob at speed grade. So nothing really bad on speed grade. I'm just a lot more comfortable working in Resolve and I kind of know the ins and outs of that program a little better. But nevertheless, today I'm gonna show you a really quick, easy color grading workflow for doing some simple color correction in speed grade. So what we're gonna do is start in Premiere and then move everything to speed grade, do our grades and come back to Premiere for our final render. And if you haven't checked out my warm color grading tutorial, make sure to check that out. It goes through a lot more detail than I'm gonna go through here, but it's in Resolve. A lot of the concepts work exactly the same. They're just in a different program. And so today I'm gonna to do a much shorter version in speed grade. Okay, so here we are in Premiere. This is the edit for my home movie called Sunday. It's just something quick that I threw together to kind of do a couple tutorials on. All of this is shot on iPhone. And anytime you bring iPhone into post and try and edit it, it can sometimes be a little bit wonky. Sometimes the sync is off. It doesn't matter as much for this video, but just to be safe, I transcoded all of my clips to Cineform um, with the codec that the new Adobe CC comes with. Super good codec, totally recommend it. Anyway, so we have this nice little family video, but now we want to do some color grading. And as promised, we're going to do that in speed grade. So I have my locked edit right here. I'm going to go up to File and go down to Direct Link to Adobe Speed Grade. Now what this is going to do is save this file out. It says, do you want to save changes? And I'll say yes. And it's saving the actual Premiere project. And as it saves it, it opens up Speed Grade. And Speed Grade natively opens Premiere projects which is pretty slick. And so, you know, that was about two seconds and I already have my footage all in my timeline. It's all linked up, all the cuts and everything match. And uh, it looks nice. Even my title came in with the right font and everything. Pretty darn amazing, actually. This is one of the cool features, if not the main reason why you would want to use speed grade is if, if you're into Premiere I mean, it's it's really quick. There's just no arguing with that. But here's what I'm gonna do. Um, I have a goal of just making kind of a warm feeling for this movie. I'm just gonna grab a frame that I like, which I'm a fan of this, this picture of Porkchop, the dog. And I'm gonna kind of get rid of a couple things on my interface here just so I can focus on my color tools and everything I need. If you're brand new to Adobe Speed Grade, I'll give you just kind of a crash course on what we're looking at here. We'll start up here. This is obviously your image. This is what things are gonna look like. You can either hit A or you can click this little arrow and this will bring up your scopes. And of course you can change the layouts. I like a two scope layout with a parade and a vector scope. That's the way I like to work, although you can use any of them that you want. And again, I can just hit A to hide them and everything like that, but I'll keep them up. Down here's the timeline. This is obviously where you move around and figure out where clips are and things like that. Down here is your layer stack. And just like layers in Photoshop or After Effects, you stack layers and you put your corrections on different layers. This is a lot like the nodes palette in Resolve. This is kind of where all of your information is stored and that type of thing. So it starts out with a primary correction and a primary correction is anything that affects the entire image. Now, if you had a secondary correction, that's kind of more geared toward just doing, you know, a certain color or keying something or, you know, picking a part of your image to play with rather than the whole thing. So I'm going to start on my favorite shot here. And over here in this palette, a strange thing is, is everything looks grayed out like you can't use it. But really, that's just speed grades way of saying that you haven't done anything yet, because once you move something, it lights up. So what's cool is at a glance, you can see what you've messed with. So I'm just gonna play around with a couple grades here. I think I'm just gonna start by warming this up and I just click in the middle and this moves really, really slow by default. I moved my mouse like all the way across my mouse pad, but if you grab this and then you hold shift, you can move it a lot faster. And so if you're, you're crazy and you're jacked out of your skull on caffeine, it's not a big deal, you can just hold shift. Another cool thing is you can right click inside of the color wheel and it kind of turns into like just move the color wheel mode. 
you see how you can't see my mouse here and I can move my mouse anywhere and it just moves it slow I don't have to hold it down or anything like that it just kinda locks it in there and then I can right click to get out of that again kinda strange but it's really nice to do really subtle corrections so I'm just gonna warm up the highlights here a little bit that's pretty good and I might take down the midtones I'm a fan of little darker midtones and yeah that looks that looks okay I might warm up the midtones just a little and now I want to copy this grade onto this shot. The easiest way to do that, there's like a hundred ways to do this, but um, the thing that I like the most is just hover over the shot that I want to copy the color from and select the shot that you want it to copy to and then just hit C. And that will copy this color to this shot. Now this shot looks a little bit green in the highlights, so I'll probably take that down just a little bit. So that's working a little better for me. I like that okay. So that's awesome. That's a couple of our shots here. Um, okay, so I like this look, and now I just want to copy it to everything else. So I'm just going to select all my footage and just go through and copy my look. So now I have all of my grades on all of my clips, and I can go back and do some adjustments you can also hit up and down on the keyboard to move in between clips. Okay, so I pretty much have all of my shots looking, you know, reasonable, looking okay. And um, normally you would go through and make sure every shot's exactly the way you want, but this tutorial is a lot more about workflow and just trying to trying to show you how this whole speed grade Premiere thing works. Okay, so I have pretty much my whole movie graded, and now it's time to move it back into Premiere. The cool thing is in Resolve or in most color correction programs, what you would do now is render and then either just bring your clips in or you would export an XML and bring them back into Premiere or your editor of choice, whatever it is, and then render out of there. But the cool thing about SpeedGrade is it uses the same color technology in Premiere. And so what we can do is pretty much just save our project and open it in Premiere and all of our color grading and everything will be there. And we don't even have to render. We don't have to render out of Premiere. We don't have to render out of speed grade. We just render once when we're totally done from Premiere. So I'm gonna go up here to this little button that looks like a Premiere logo. And it says direct link to Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm just gonna hit that. And it says, do you wanna save changes? Yes, I do and then it opens it right up in Premiere and there's all of our grades plays back beautifully and you know what that right there is pretty darn cool and here's something that's even cooler if I need to change and edit check this out I can come up here and normally when you bring in clips from Resolve unless you rendered handles which is kind of a pain you have this clip and that's the that's the only video that you have you can't extend it out you can't do anything but check this out I can take this and just extend it out like that and my grade is still there on the whole clip so that's pretty sweet I can play with edits mess things around and and what's cool is if I decide I don't like that grade I can just go to my effect controls and select Lumetri which is the color engine that this uses and just delete it and there's my clip without any grading on it. Pretty freaking awesome. So that's how you do a really basic grade in speed grade. Have it in Premiere, go to file, direct link to Adobe speed grade, go in, do your grades and send back to Premiere and you're ready to go. Pretty slick. I think it works really well for, you know, simple overall grades like this. Uh, as far as the secondaries and the tracker are concerned, I, I just don't think that they're quite as good as Resolve is yet. But if you want to do a basic grade, it's hard to go wrong with speed grade if you're working in Premiere. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. If you did like it, make sure to let me know by hitting like. If you want to see more tutorials on post-production, color correction, things like that, subscribe to my channel because I post videos all the time. I try and make them as helpful as possible. If you want to request a tutorial, send me a message on Twitter, leave a comment on the video. So hope you guys had fun. Once again, my name's Casey Ferris. I'll catch you next time.